application, we can either select starter templates or we can create from scratch, which we will select. This will provide an empty canvas that we can build upon. And let's say we want to build on some C and we want to add some C features. We can select the C option and start painting. Notice the C sound effects to accompany the user and provide a more immersive experience. Should we want to cover a bigger surface area with our brush, we can also adjust the slider to increase the brush width. We can also add in some grass in the foreground. generated image in a few seconds. So here we see the generated image with the grass in the foreground and the sea in the background. For instance, if we want to explore further and see what the templates are available, we can head to the menu and select templates where there are four templates available. Spring, which you see here, snowy, seaside, and mountainous. For example, if today you're feeling some spring vibes and luscious and blooming green fields, we can select the spring option and launch inside. This will pre-populate the semantic map that corresponds to the previous picture we saw in the previous page. And let's go ahead and generate to see what we have got so far. So we have got this picture which is the same as what we saw in the previous page. And what if we want to continue drawing and explore further? Let's select continue drawing. And let's add on some clouds in the background. We may also want to add some flowers in the foreground. And let's generate the image to see what we have got so far. we see the cloud we have added in the background and the flowers, some pink flowers in the foreground. Let's say we also want to add another tre a tree into the picture. generated by the Gauguin model which 
signifies that the model understands the leaves and the trunk based on the shape that was drawn by the user. And this is our generated image. With this, we present to you the Paint Your Mind experience. And thank you for joining us on this journey.